hey there well today i've got something super exciting to share with you if you're like me you love measuring presence inside of your home now i was watching youtube yesterday and lewis popped up with this new video from everything presence one now what it does it actually allows you to draw out your room create furniture inside of the room place the sensor and then actually record and watch and have a heat map of showing exactly the movement in that room. You can even create entry and exit points. So I'll leave a link in the description below to the Everything Presence Zone Configurator. So we go along and we copy the repository, go along to Home Assistant, Add-ons, and then click on the Add-on Store, click the three little dots at the top here, Repositories, paste it in over here, add it in, then you can close that, click on the configurator over here and install. Once it's installed, click on the watchdog, auto update, add to sidebar and start. So first of all, we've now got it running. So we're gonna go open the web user interface. And the first thing is the setup wizard. So I've got two of these sensors. So I've got the Everything Presence one in my bathroom and the Everything Presence light sensor in my kitchen. So we're gonna start off by creating the kitchen one. So it comes up with this, some entities need attention. Um, I'm not sure if this needs to be set at this stage. Uh, if we drop those down, it gives us some options. I think I'm gonna leave this for now. I'm gonna go next, okay. So I'm going to build a new room. So we select new room and I'm gonna call this the kitchen, okay. And we're gonna leave it in metrics because I'm in New Zealand, we use metrics. And now we're going to say, let's draw the room outline. So my room is approximately three meters by four meters. So I'm gonna use these blocks, okay. So I'm gonna start it off over here. So it's about four meters across. So there we go, four meters. I might double that. Okay, let's leave it at four meters. Then we're gonna go down, which is three meters in the other direction. There we go. And we're going to bring it back to here, four meters. Okay, so I've created my room. So we'll go next. Now it's saying let's add doors. So the doors are pretty cool because it actually allows you to control exit and entry through doors and use this for your presence detection. So let's say, let's go, we're going to add a door. Now my kitchen actually has three doorways coming into it. So we're going to add a door on this wall over here, because there's one wall there. Now we can adjust it, we can either go inwards or outwards. We can also adjust the point. So mine sits about there. It doesn't actually have a door on it, but we'll leave it as a door anyway. Next, I'm going to go to another door, which is this one over here. Um, we're gonna move this one along slightly because that works approximately that way. And yes, the hinge is on, no, the hinge is actually on the other side for that door. There we go, the hinge goes that way. And then I've also got a third door. So this is actually a sliding door. Uh, we don't have an option for a sliding door, but we'll just place another door over there. So there we go, we've got our three doors. Now we'll go next. Now we're gonna to wanna to add furniture. So this is really cool. You can actually take furniture, place it into your room. Now they've got bedroom, living room, office. Fortunately, we don't have a kitchen as yet. I might just take a dining room and we'll see what's available here. Um, so we've got a bench. So I've got benches, oh, a kitchen island. That's exactly what I'm looking for. There we go. So we're gonna place a kitchen island over here because I have one up here. Now the width of my kitchen island, uh, it's, oh, that's adjusting the whole size. So it doesn't seem, let's not lock the aspect ratio. There we go. So that's now allowing me to move it like that. All right, so I've got a bench that sits along there and then I've got another bench. All right, so we'll take another, go, oh, we're going back there. So we wanna go back to dining room furniture. So we've got another kitchen island, is it? Let's see here. Yes, we've got another kitchen island. We're gonna put this one over here. Once again, we're gonna unlock the aspect ratio and we're going to pull this one across like that. So this is approximately the layout of my kitchen. Um, we're gonna go next. All right, now we're gonna place the device. This is where we're actually placing the present sensor in our room. So we're gonna bring this down because it's sitting on top of my fridge. 
which is just sitting in the corner over here. Now the next thing we need to do is actually rotate it. So we're going to rotate it around. As you're going to see, that's going to nicely cover this whole room space for me. So we've created our room. We'll go next. Okay. Define detection zones. Okay. So we can create multiple zones. Um, currently, we've just got one zone. Um, let's just leave one zone for now. And we'll go next. So setup is complete. Um, push zones to device. So we'll push that zone across there. All right. So it should have created that zone within the device in ESP Home. We'll go finish and go. So if we press the display settings button over here, we can see that we've got the maximum distance. We've got the radar clipped overlaying. We've got now this is quite cool. We'll show the heat map. So this will actually show the heat map as I walk around in the room. We're showing all of the elements. Um, we might as well just go with the device max over there and the movement trail. So let's click everything. We've got zone occupancy over one day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now go and walk around in that space and we're going to see what's going to happen. So now you can see as I walk into the kitchen, it's tracking every movement that I make. Now, another thing we can do is we can actually select this path recording. So this is going to record my path as I actually move through. So now as I start moving through the kitchen, you can see I'm moving to the one side, cross to the other counter, back and out of the door. It's actually recorded the path as I've moved through that zone. Well, that's all for now. That's just been a brief introduction to this awesome new presence editor. Now, I'm super excited. Please let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you've tried it, how it's working for you. For me, it's working fantastically. I will be playing more with it and I'll let you know what it's going to bring in the future. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.